everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiffany Benson, one part of Team Benson. And today is the video that I'm gonna show you guys if all of those measures to kill the rodents and get rid of the rodents actually worked. All right guys, so if you watched my last video, you saw that I used castor oil, soap and water, I used juicy fruit gum, and I also used the sound machines to be able to get rid of the rodents. And here's a clip of what my garden looked like the day after and the day after that. All right guys, so this is day two um, of having all the measures out. I have just one dig mark there and there. Those were already eaten, so that's not new. And then nothing in here but I left a piece of gum in here and it is taken those were already eaten so that's nothing new I left a piece of gum in here and it was eaten and the beans were not bothered so that's good news over here though I have the biggest dig marks now this is where I put the gum at guys so there's a big one there big one there big one there big one there but luckily the plants are fine so the okra's fine and the tomatoes are fine and that pepper plant is fine they did dig up one of my beans but those beans are still good and then I have one of the big dig mark spots right here is where it always digs at sadly I think that the cold got this cucumber plant but you know you win some you lose some and then the bed over here got dug up pretty bad too. Um, one there, one there. Hopefully it leaves that little snow pea plant alone. And then got dug up there, dug up there, dug a little bit there, 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 and there. So, so far these dig marks are deeper. So I think that the castor oil bothered it. And it looks like it dug up just the gum. Um, also in this bed too, it dug up the gum. So we'll see, I'm gonna cover everything back up tonight and we will see what happens in the morning. But the nice part is having the sound machine in here, which I just moved it yesterday, but it had been in there for two days, it did deter um, the rodent from going into this bed. So uh, this time is starting to come back and this time is starting to come back and this one's starting to come back too. That sage died because of the hot and cold issue, but the thyme is starting to grow back. Now also, I was lucky enough to find some more starts and I have my Thai basil and my purple basil and my lemon thyme all up here. And so it's not climbing on the walls, which means anything in these pots are gonna be safe. So I'm going to start planting some radishes here um, so I can get those going and maybe some beans and radishes just kind of rotate them instead of doing flowers. Okay guys, I'm gonna try and do this before I lose all of my light out here. But as you can see, none of that work. <laughs> they actually dug holes right next to the sound machines. They lo absolutely love juicy fruit gum, ate it all. Every time I put it out there, they preferred the juicy fruit gum actually over the vegetables. And the castor oil seemed to bother them. And in the beds that I was able to really soak it with the castor oil, like my big herb bed, it didn't really like it, but it didn't really do that much, let's be honest. But I did find a way to get rid of the rodents. So this is another slow process, but it's actually working. Um, I got sticky traps and I didn't want to kill them. I was trying to just kind of deter them from being back here and let them move on. But I called my HOA and after having a really long talk with them and the exterminator company, they have been placing traps at the back of my community where our canal is. And it basically pushed all the rodents up here. I have the one garden in their community. So therefore all the rodents went directly to my garden. So I had a horrible infestation and my entire area was surrounded by bait boxes. So all the rodents came to me. So insert sticky, sticky traps. 
Now, I found these ones. I've been using ones that I got off of Amazon, and they're actually cheaper on Amazon, guys, than buying them in the store. These were twice the amount that I got for a two-pack when I got them like a six pack for Amazon for the same price. So I'll link that down below, but it's by the brand Tomcat and they're pesticide free. And what you do is you open it up, you uh, put some bait on the sticky trap part of it, and then you just place it down there and you wait. Now, the nice part is, is that since the voles and the rats and whatever they are have been stuck on there, it has let the birds and the cats see, oh look, there's something there, and then they eat it. So it's bringing back a lot of big predators back to my yard, and that is what I think is scaring off the little varmints. Now, I had two the first time, and then this morning I only had one. So I'm going to set another trap tonight, hopefully don't run out of light so I can show you guys, and then we'll see if I get another one tomorrow. I'll report back to you guys in the next video tomorrow. All right guys, so since the uh, rodents love juicy fruit gum, that's what I'm baiting it with. I'm actually baiting, baiting it with juicy fruit gum, purple basil, and Thai basil because they're also very gourmet. So this is what, this is how it looks when I get it all baited. So this is what it looks like. We got the gum, and then we also got some Thai basil, and we got some purple basil. So I'm just gonna stick these out in the areas that I see that there's a lot of activity. So I chose to put it here and then also over there. Guys, look at this amazing Malabar spinach. On a bright note, look at that guy. So the other thing that I had advice with was eliminating the food source, which is my garden. <laughs> so uh, what I did is that everything that the voles and the rats are finding yummy, I did not replant those. So I went to the nursery and I got a couple of things, which if you guys have not gone to a nursery, if you're needing starts, I would suggest you go because people were buying them by the truckloads when I went. So I have a couple things that I couldn't start in the house because I didn't have space and I already have a couple things going in there. So I bought a couple of other things just so I had some extras, but I'm not putting them out. I'm sitting them out here so that they get the sunlight and then at night when it's time for the bowls and stuff like that to come out, then I put those in the house until I can get this problem under control. Because they did say that once you eliminate the food source and you start catching them and killing them, then they're eventually going to move on because basically they're looking for food and water. So all of my plants that are back here that they're not eating, some of my mature pepper plants, they don't touch. Um, all of my tomato plants they don't touch most of the herbs they don't touch they do like purple basil and they do like Thai basil so those will be coming in the house with me but everything else I'm just kind of letting it just eat so I'm losing most of my bean plants except for my Chinese red long meat long noodle beans I'll keep my fingers crossed on those but at least once I get this problem under control then I can plant the rest of my garden out which will actually be perfect timing because it's still in the 90s here in Arizona, so still a little too hot for the collards, but yeah, it'll be it'll be good. So I'll show you guys real quick before it gets dark what I got. So I picked up some kale, even though I have a different type of kale going inside. I do like this curly kale, and the seeds that I had left, they actually ate that kale, so that's unfortunate. Um, I got some lettuce. I got some more um, thyme, and then I got another mint plant. And then these are some more peppers. I got some parsley. The parsley just died because of the sun, so that one actually is gonna just go in its bed. And then I also got some collards, and this is actually just another tomato that I had just got too as well. All right guys, so I had to come back inside because I don't know if you know this, but Arizona Falls are pretty much like bright sun, gleaming sun, oh my god it's sunny, to oh it's getting kind of dark, to pitch black. So you don't have a lot of time when it's getting a little bit dark. But I also got just two more um, pepper plants, I think they're bell pepper plants just because why not? I was there, they were there, and I was like oh these are kind of cool. And you know, bell pepper plants got eaten. So. I also wanted to show you guys a couple things because I went to the grocery store today and there were a lot of people purchasing things. Um, and one of the things that 
has been all over YouTube and all over everywhere is that there's going to be lockdown, lockdowns all over Europe. And so a lot of my clients, I do PR marketing for my normal business and a lot of my clients are either preparing for lockdowns or they're in countries that are getting locked down or they're in the United States and they're places where they're starting to kind of prepare for lockdowns. So I went and I got a couple more things um, from the grocery store. We keep our house pretty stocked with stuff um, and I like to get things out of my garden and grow things and preserve them and preserve them all different types of ways and make quick meals and all those different things. But I went and I got a couple more things and I thought I would show you guys what I got like a little grocery haul. Okay, so first up I got this ridiculously big bag of parsley. All the parsley that I grew last year is all gone. So I'm going to be washing this up and I'm actually going to be freezing it in little ice cubes because we use parsley a lot for um, cooking red meat. So we cook a lot of our steaks and different things like that with parsley or we make chimichurri with it. And then also got some cauliflower. Now I have cauliflower in the freezer already but I got some more to put in there. They had these little guys on sale too. Um, if you guys have never used this, this helps if you don't have a lot of seasonings or if seasonings aren't available and they last pretty long too as well. Um, it's an organic one, it's called Better Than Bullion, and you just basically take a spoonful and put it into your soups, your stews, or just any type of things that you would like seasoning with. This helps to where if you don't have a lot of herbs or seasonings on hand, then you can use that and it'll pretty much season everything perfectly for you. I also got another thing of ginger. If you guys haven't seen my How to Preserve Ginger um, video, I will put that down below, but I'm running out of all the ginger I preserved. Finally, which is took about two months, so I'm going to be preserving up some more ginger and getting that in the refrigerator. And then I just got some zucchini because that's going to be for dinner tonight. I got red wine. Um, we use red wine to cook with, but I also use red wine to make sure that our blood is actually staying pretty thin, um, meaning that it's not clotting or anything like that. So. Having high blood pressure and different things like that at risk for our family, um, I cook at least one meal every week to two weeks with red wine just to make sure everybody in the family's blood is flowing well. Now at the dollar store guys, they had pink Himalayan sea salt. And if you guys are not using sea salt, you are really, or pink Himalayan sea salt, you are really missing out because there are a lot of trace minerals in um, Himalayan pink salt. So that'll really be good for your body. Um, I like to cook a couple meals with that too as well. I got some shelf stable milk um, just because I don't have any shelf stable milk. And then one of the things that was out in pretty much every grocery store were these veggie um, pastas. So it's the pasta made out of different veggies. So they had them on sale. So I got a few things of those. And then I got some nature seasoning. Um, I don't use a lot of seasoning in my house, but when I do, I do nature seasoning. It's pretty much the only one that I use. And then I got some more ground pepper. And then I got a couple of basil because all my basil got eaten and all the basil that I preserved is now gone. So I got some dry basil until my basil plant is big enough for me to take off of. And then I got a couple more just things to preserve or just to store some things in from the dollar store. So if you guys aren't shopping at the Dollar Tree, they have some pretty cool things. And then I got potatoes because we love potatoes. And then the last thing I got was a giant thing of tomatoes. Um, I use a lot of tomatoes to add flavor to a lot of our dishes if it needs some extra flavor or for making a stew or anything like that. Um, or just the basis for tomato sauce for spaghetti. So. I am going to be preserving all of these. Um, it'll be in tomorrow's video on how to water bath can preserve tomatoes because I am not good at pressure canning yet. So I hope the areas that you guys are in are not getting locked down and everybody's safe and everybody's healthy. But if they are, make sure you guys are getting a couple things for your house. Um, make sure you have your fresh herbs, guys. And if you don't have your fresh herbs, get your dried herbs because using those herbs and putting those different medicinal properties into your body is really going to help keep you guys safe and healthy. So I am going to go hunt for rodents and see how that's going. But until next time, grow yourselves a garden because even a small space can provide you with tons of food. Bye guys.
Here's some bonus footage guys. I also have a ton of pumpkin seeds that I just roasted in garlic and salt. This is what we love to do with our pumpkins.